effectively one student. Those first few years were, was growth for us. We built out of uh, someone's basement. We didn't have a shop or a location. We even have a room in the school at that time. Our team had humble beginnings. That grew into you know seeing what impact we could have on kids. Being something that was more than a bunch of people trying to come together and build a robot, we at that point thought that we could actually start affecting people. And we started. Kind of making it a more community driven environment and, and building that like family atmosphere that we have now. And we, we were starting to build that initial family idea. We created FLL and FLL Junior teams. Mentoring teams like FLL teams and FLL Junior teams helps us with the mission of spreading the interest of STEM in our community and helping people want to make positive changes in the world. Not only does it allow us to instill first qualities in kids that will join our team, but even if they don't, we've now produced first leaders that will be more productive people out in the community. Having such a strong family atmosphere on our team inspired us to reach out to our community and give that family atmosphere to others. Over the years, our team has begun to host events like Rise Against Hunger, where we packaged over 30,000 meals for countries in need. Working the Rise Against Hunger event was like insane. I never thought we'd be doing something like that 11 years ago. Being able to feed people, it's something that we all take for granted every day, and it's awesome to be able to you know, be a part of making that kind of change. We participated in numerous care packaging events for troops overseas. I'm also a U.S. Army disabled veteran. I've been on the receiving end of those packages. They mean a lot. Even just getting a letter in a box, somebody just thinking about you. One of my coworkers and friends uh, is on deployment uh, with the Navy, and a small way of reminding uh, him and everyone else that that like we haven't forgot about them. Our family atmosphere doesn't just stop in the local community. We expand it to our first family. Remembering our humble beginnings, we make our resources available to other teams so they can grow like we have. One of our most popular resources are our programming lessons and it's about six or seven thousand students around the world have used our lessons at least to some extent. We're giving any team around the world the opportunity to get the same kind of um, coding instruction that we did. This is important because we want to make sure that everyone's on the field and competing because we all know how much like went into making the robot. It's more than just the like metal 